Hey folks, Steve Bird here. So, do my first kind of unboxing video. Of course, it's really not an unboxing. I've already opened the box, but it's never been removed, so I guess it, it qualifies. So anyway, this is a Solark 5K. Um, have you seen my previous videos uh, where I was dealing with an indoor 12K and an, in, and an outdoor 12K? I talked to, about setting those up and uh, uh, all this cuff we kind of did to, to get them squared away and get them on our system and, and the differences between the two. This 5K was marketed kind of as uh, more of something like the power cabin or a cottage or something where you didn't need as much power. In my mind, I had visualized a smaller unit to take up less space on a wall in a small cabin. Um, but we knew we needed one and we knew the prices on stuff were going up and Things were getting harder to get. So we went ahead and contacted Scott Hunt at uh, Practical Preppers LLC, Engineer 775, here on YouTube. He's, he's our, our go to guy for everything. And I uh, asked him to go ahead and send us one. And he did, and <laughs> I'll admit, I didn't do much research on him at all. I just, I just took his word for it that it, it'll do the job for what we need. And I'm sure it will. I was a little surprised, though, that it was a full size. This is the same exact same case as our outdoor. 12k that's not a problem really i just thinking you know you, you picture smaller you expect smaller but it is what it is um when you first open the box with a solar you get your handy dandy instruction manual which is actually pretty informative uh it won't necessarily answer all your questions you may need you may need a call to the uh, the help desk there at uh, solar but i've dealt with them a lot and uh, they've always been really helpful and they've, they've always solved my problem so if you can't uh, get what you need out of the book, give them a call. And watch Engineer 775's videos. But the other things that come in the box are the Wi-Fi dongle, which you need if you uh, want to be able to get updates, software updates to your unit, or if you want to be able to monitor on the phone app. Now, I used a uh, just a, a cheap Verizon cellular hotspot uh, just for the sole source of uh, internet for my other, my, my outdoors 12K that I've got indoors. Um, so anyway, the Wi-Fi dong is critical. Having that communication ability is very nice. This little guy is the battery temperature sensor. Helps your solar learn and manage your batteries properly. And uh, appears to be a hole in the bag. And then you've got a, a communication cable, which I don't use and we've also got what looks like some ferrite suppressors to go around the battery cables and a couple different limit sensors which uh, would be uh, come in handy for on-grid hybrid installations one, one of the first things i noticed uh, when we opened the box and i realized wow that's that's the same case as a 12k i popped it open and uh, it's exactly the same on the inside uh, for a brief moment, I subconsciously hoped they accidentally sent a 12K, though that would be dishonest. We would need to <laughs> admit it, but because um, it, it looked exactly like one. And I started reading the, uh, the data tag, and uh, it, sure enough, it's a Solar 5K. And really, the only difference, the only major difference, is the MPPT and uh, charger capacity. So it's 6 kilowatt MPPT and a 5 kilowatt charger split phase inverter. So your charger inverter is smaller than the 12K and your MPPT input capabilities are smaller. But aside from that, it seems like it's pretty much the same unit. All the way down to the uh, continuous AC pass-through, which is one thing that I had mentioned uh, when I had did my swap for the 12k outdoor for the 12k indoor i was i was reading the data tags on both boxes and i mentioned our original 12k was a 12,000 watt pass through continuous ac pass through and how the outdoor unit was 15,120 the the indoor unit was a 50 amp uh, pass through max and the outdoor was 63 well that's exactly what this unit is it's uh, max continuous ac pass through is 15,120 watts at 63 amps. So aside from the MPPT input limit, 
and the charger inverter limit pretty much seems to be the same same hardware which even though the case is kind of big um, for a smaller unit that that's kind of nice because you know it's, it's a it's a sturdy robust unit um, we'll be installing this in a separate location not the same place that you saw my other videos with the 12k this is actually going to be um, joined up with the roof mount solar panels that I recently did a quick video on and uh, it's going to be for uh, like I said, a different location on the property for, for other redundancy uh, means but we're looking forward to it and when we do uh, do the install on this one we'll make sure we film that and uh, probably do a, a an actual through process you know from start to finish actually pulling it out of the box put it on the wall and getting everything hooked up and running whatever troubleshooting is required to get it to get it going um, but, uh, looking forward to that looking forward to get this fellow online and uh, we'll uh, share that with you when we get to it so thanks a lot